What's in the mailbox? From mom. My dear Peotic, how's your new life treating you? Are you eating well? Brushing your teeth? Washing behind your ears? Oh dear, I'm all worked up. Here's a little something to help you out. Eat it or plant it, but think of me. Mom. All right, thanks, Mom. Place in my pocket. What the heck is it? Wow, apples. Anyway. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So as you can see, it is currently March 23rd, which means that a certain somebody should be here by now. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. It's Blather's Tent. Let me invite myself in. Hi, Blathers. Who? A pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have to... Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Uh -huh. Could it be that you are Peotic, the, pers the personage, personage, who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and, henceforth, dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit the I plan to exhibit these creatures, as well as those you gave Tom Nook, in the museum upon its upon its completion. Though, I confess there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in. What, what? Wait, is that what, is that what that says? I don't know. Anyway, allow me to explain. You see, <clears throat> it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. Woo! As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land, land beyond that river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with... Oh my gosh, so much, um, what, what is it called? Consonants? Yeah. A lot of P's and F's in the sentence. Is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say. I can't just hop over it, you say. Whew, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Peotic, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Beep boop. Ah, oh, vibration. <laughs> there, you see? With wood gathered from Grandania, I forgot that's what I called my island. <laughs> I already forgot. One can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole could be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go, hooty hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Which brings me to my point. Please, Peotic. Pro uh, I said my own name, weird. Please, Peotic, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on for too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. You got it. He uses such big words. That blathers. He really blathers on, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, I'll just go get my shit. <laughs> I'll go get my tings out of my tent. Well, actually, wait. I have things in my pockets. I have a lot of things in my pockets that I can donate already. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I know I was gone for like three seconds, Blathers, but hear me out. Let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. Um, I would like to make a few donations. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Oh, I guess I can only do this flounder. Hmm, an olive flounder. Might I interest you with facts? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Did you know that the olive flounder is the same shape as other fish when it hatches? But as it grows, it gets both wider and flatter and can reach some three feet long. These flatfish, flatfish spend much of their lives buried under the sandy 
ocean floor. Oh, good lord. Waiting for prey to happen by. Imagine the surprise for said prey when they strike. It would be as if your kitchen floor were to bite you. Yeah, that would be pretty trippy. And there you have it. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, no? Bravo, and thank you. Once the museum is complete, I shall be... It shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Yeah, we're gonna taxidermy blathers and put them on a wall. Anyway. 14 donations. That'll actually be quite easy, I think. I already have plenty in my house. I don't think I can... Yeah, I couldn't donate those other fish, so I should sell them. Wait, not here, I don't think. Where do I go? It's been a few days. Hi, sorry. Ignore me. <laughs> Where's the other little nookie? Nookie dude. Nook oh, there he is. Little nook man. Tommy. Good to see you. I'm enjoying. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. And multiple miles. Stop giving me tips. I want to sell you things. Well, shoot. Do I just go and release them into the water? Alright. Um... Goodbye, Bitterling. I think I got that in the ocean, so... Or not the ocean. I think I got these in freshwater, so... They're gonna die in the ocean from all that extra salt. I won't think too much about it. Let me just get my other critters. Show them the blathers. The huge. Alright, come on, critters. I guess I didn't really have much, did I? Still don't have much. This is a small ass tent. <laughs> I honestly thought I put more creatures in there too, but yeah. I can't wait to make a shovel so I can get that little money tree planted. You saw that glowing spot. All right, Blathers, I got a couple more for you. Yes, I have a few things. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Um, my right kidney. Oh, I can only do one at a time. All right, I'll read everything. Eek! A yellow butterfly! The horror! The repugnance! Good heavens! I must maintain my composure. Ahem. I beg your pardon? Bugs, I, I do detest them. Still, as much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended, if you insist that is. Please tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, ahem. Allow me to enlighten you. The yellow butterfly is named for its yellow wings. Need I say more? You fucking dipshit. <laughs> if I must, then allow me to note that the female yellow butterfly can lay up to 600 eggs at a time. Blech. And their creepy crawly caterpillars just love to chomp on clover pl clover plants. A recipe for disaster, I say. Just imagine reaching for a four-leaf clover only to touch a larva instead. Yuck, the worst of luck. Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing... We'll get the best of care here. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else. Well, yes, I have multiple things. <laughs> if you would just shut your mouth. I'm already being really impatient. I'm sorry, Blathers. Here's a common butterfly. A common butterfly would have you believe it is but a beautiful friend flitting prettily about the flowers. Bah, I say. They may seem innocent things with their pretty white wings. That is... A nice rhyme there, but they hide a dark side. A common butterfly caterpillar is called a cabbage worm, you see, and it's a most voracious pest. That's a word I've never heard before. Definitely don't remember it reading the last time I did this. The, the ravenous beasts chew through cabbage, broccoli, kale, and the like with a devastating gusto. Gusto? I've heard both pronunciations. And my feathers, the green coloring is truly gross. A horrific hue, hue if I say. Yes, I got something. Marvelous. It's a peel bug. Bitch eyelash bug. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that clip in right now. That's one of my favorites. What the fuck kind of bug is that? Oh, bitch eyelash bug. <laughs> ooh, this is, ooh, bitch, I'm on fleet. The fuck? It looks just Just like got you. my lashes done in the club. <laughs> Munchie, you. <laughs> Children delight at the way that these beasts roll into balls when poked. But the appeal is utterly lost on me. One look at their leggy undersides. Whew. Ew. How they wriggle. Young pill bugs shed their exoskeletons as they grow, and in doing so, sprout another pair of legs. As if 12 appendages weren't alarming enough. Yuck, I say. Yuck. Anywho, 
My sincerest thanks for your donation. All right. I'm out of here. Yep, I know. Thank you. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> Me being impatient. When this game, I mean, the game has the option to play it slowly, or you could time travel, which I'm just, you know, doing for the sake of. Oh, hello. Um, what's his name? Gulliver. The Gulliver's Travels. It's one of those books. Let me just bonk him. Oh, never mind. Gulliver. Snurk, snurk. I don't know how that's about. Is he snoring? Sorry, fellas. I already licked all these cookies. Had to test for raisins. Z z z. Here, let me whack him, because I think that would... Nope, I guess I can't do it. Mm, don't want to be flots flotsam. Gonna be jetsam? It just sounds more rugged. Alright. <laughs> Booga! Who's at the helm? Just give me five more minutes. No, dude, wake up! This is this too early? Can I not... Oh, there we go. Blurg. D do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tapped online, so... Wait. I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none Oliver than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. <laughs> Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? I had to cut your hand off. <laughs> Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Guess I dozed, dozed off and tumbled overboard again. Considering how many times I've seen this guy on my island in the past, that happens, like, an alarming amount of times. Like, you need to get that checked out, sir. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Ha! Huh. Don't worry, the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see? I'll just call for help using my handy dandy... Uh... My, uh... Oh my gosh! My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, oh, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm. That could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. You. Yes, you. Will you help me find my communicator parts? No way. Sure, I'll look for them. I just need to make a shovel first. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your heart must be as big as your head. Oh. What did you say, punk? Big meaty claws! Anyway, the communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. All right. Cool beans. I got a lot of shite to do today. Ooh, there's a recipe. To whoever fishes this out of the turf. Bet you weren't expecting to find a DIY recipe you wash up in a bottle. Keep an open mind, I always say. This crafting project is something to help you reflect. Build it, and you'll see what I'm getting at. Sounds like a mirror. Wishing, wishing you luck, Angus. Mmm, Angus beef. Yeah, a wooden full-length mirror. How oh, delicious. Huh, okay. I learned. Uh, I know what it says. Everyone knows what it says. Y'all seen that before. A million times. Oh, well, I wonder. Maybe I should just go and... Well, I, was go I was going to debate whether to see my neighbors. I haven't seen them yet today. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just... Oh. Alright, I guess no one's here. They won't mind me... Bat like, what's the word? Breaking down their door with a, with a gnat. A gnat? A net. I don't know what I'm saying today. Hi, Boone. Looking built, Baboom. What's up? Let's chat. Someone said we could set our furniture up anywhere we like. Oh, except for in the plaza. I'm thinking of putting together an outdoor gym. What do you think? Eh, I've seen better. If you've got an idea you think will get everyone pumped, don't hold back. Alright, thanks. Oh, hey, what, what? What brings you here? I live here. Why is your face? I just noticed her expression. That's horrifying. I could see that in my nightmares already. Let's talk. If you ever run out of something you need, Timmy's Timmy's is the place to go to buy more. He'll always, he'll also buy up here's spare lumber and weeds in case. Okay, yeah, that answered my question from earlier. He's totally upfront with his prices too, so it's really easy to work out a deal. What? What? All right, thanks for nothing. All right. 
Table? Table? Okay. I would like to see what I can craft. Let's see. So, shovel. Oh, I need one more piece of hardwood. And I need... Oh, I can make the pole. I can be a stripper! I made a vaulting pole. Oh, let's keep crafting because I want to see other recipes. Yeah, I need um more hardwood, which I do have an axe still. Um, How do I do the favorites again? I can't do that yet. I don't think that's um, a thing I can do yet. The little wheel of important items or whatever. That might be a later game thing. I miss having a bigger in in inventory too, if I'm being honest. Alright, get some more wood. Alright. What kind of nook miles I got today? Oop. Rough hewn. Okay. Thank you, specific producer. I'm a very specific producer, I suppose. Uh, what else am I missing? There's some other... Oh, there it is. Nook phone life. Get miles. Thank you. Smartphone. Savant. Let's craft a flimsy shovel. Hooray! I made a flimsy shovel. I'm all done for now, thank you. And where is the money spot? Ah, uh, yes. Oops. <laughs> Great start, me. Great start. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, just, just give me a second. There we go. Money! A thousand bells. Let me just pocket that real quick. I have to convert some of these to um, uh, miles and then, or sorry, bells. These miles to bells. And then I can bury them and get a, an amazing, oops, an amazing trove. Thank you. I am the lucky type. Sometimes. My luck can be actually really poor. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's a spot. All right. I did it. I have a fossil. Some would call me a fossil. I'm only 21, but the internet seems to think that is pushing uh, elderly. <laughs> All right. Hello, another fossil. Too bad I don't have a, uh, a ladder yet. That will be very, very useful in the near future. Aha. Uh -huh. Oops. <laughs> I keep missing. Oh, hey, there's um, a stink bug up there. Come on, let me just aim correctly, please. Here we go. A third fossil. Y'all ever seen the like game breaking um, topic or like discussion about the holes, the fossil holes, how they're actually just um, like a 2D illusion or like they are 2D, but they're um, designed in a way to make it look like it's a 3D like hole with depth and stuff. That was really cool. And these trees aren't even like full trees. Because of course the camera only faces one direction. Ah, there's a spot. So they only really have to design the direction that's going to face, um, you know, the camera that we're using right now. So if we can cut corners, then go ahead. Do it where it's, uh, where you think it's absolutely necessary. Other places, you cut corners where, <laughs> if you cut corners where you don't need to be cutting corners, obviously then the final product is not going to be, uh, polished, per se. Oh, I could have caught those wharf roaches. I didn't even realize that those were there until the very last second. Oh well. Oh, blathers. I have some fossils for you to examine. Hi there. Can you do something for me? Yes, I have donations. Marvelous. Let's start. Oh, I didn't realize I even got four. I thought I just had three. Woo! Indeed. There can be no doubt. This is a fossil. Incredible. Wonderful. Remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must... <laughs> bird puns. I must assist I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Woohoo! This is most assuredly a patchy a packy tail. Packy? Patchy? I'm gonna say packy. 
My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This packy tail would be a sizable step forward opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? <laughs> I'm taking it home. No, I'm gonna donate it. Hoot, how wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved packy tail. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Bitch, please. Wonderful. It is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Oh. Uh, Packy. <laughs> Packy was, to be blunt, to be blunt, to be blunt, uh, smoking weed. Anyway, not the brightest star in the dinosaur for a moment. What I mean is, with its incredibly thick skull, some 10 inches thick in some spots, or in spots, it didn't have much room for, well, for brains. Its brain was likely quite small, but at least it was extremely safe in, in its bony prison. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I will gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains of this fossil and display it in its fully assembled form. Many thanks to you, and best of luck. Thank you, blathers. Uh, this also applies to the fossil you've brought to, uh, this time, but... Only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossil of unknown, unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. With this, we need 10 donations to open the museum. Alright. I got some more. I want you to assess my fossils. This one, please. Oh, I can do multiple, finally. Ugh. I don't know which ones they are, but I will gladly take it. I'm terribly jealous. I only hope I can convince you. Uh, yeah, we get it. I I'm donating multiple. So. Ooh, Iguanodon torso. Oh, darn it. I thought I could do more than one. Ah, oh, that graceful ballerina of the Cretaceous, the Iguanodon. When I say it was graceful, I mean by the... <clears throat> Rather low bar set by other large herbivores. Apparently, it would be nimbly. Oh, apparently, it would nimbly dodge the attacks of predators and fight back with its thumb claws. It could even walk on two legs when it wanted to. Eh, truly, it was the most elegant and lithe of dinosaurs. Please let me donate multiple. No! Alright. Go ahead! What else do I have to do today? Ah, yes, the Jeremiah. One of the first mammals, and one of the few to live alongside the dinosaurs. Quite old. In order to hide from much larger dinosaurs, it was less than four inches long and quite unob unobtrusive. Some even theorized that these mammals were nocturnal until the dinosaurs went extinct. They needed every advantage to live among the behemoths. They were nocturnal before it was cool. I've got something. It's coronavirus. Coronavirus! Stegotail. All right. You can't talk about Stegosaurus without talking about the distinctive diamond-shaped plates on its back. These plates, while made of bone, were not actually connected to the animal skeleton. They simply grew out of the skin. Remarkably enough. And, oh, I, yeah. Punctuation. And it were up to two feet tall and similarly wide. It's not clear exactly how the plates were arranged or what they were for. Yet more mysteries of the ancients. And that is why, okay. We get it. Thank you. I want to escape. Let me leave. Thank you. Goodbye. I feel like I hardly ever see him blink unless he's emoting. Let me go see if I can uh, exchange some miles for some bells and then plant those bells to get even more bells. The ultimate scheme. Oh, you have to explain it to me, don't you? Oh, how can I forget? Hmm? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services periodic. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser or ABD for the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantages of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Alright. Ah, yes, 50 bonus miles. 
that's not gonna last very long. Please select. Um, I want to do the bell dispenser. Oh wait, no. I want to convert. I have to get like a what you call it, like a voucher. Is that even in here? Oh no, I don't think I can do that yet, can I? Shh, Nikes. Nor I might just have to bury the thousand bells that I do have then. Well, let me go pick up some Oh no, those aren't very those aren't worth a lot. Yeah, I think I might just bury these 1,000 bells. Cherry, what are you doing here? Get out of the way. Um, where's the spot? Where's the magic? There it is. Glowy hole. And now we're gonna bury this. Bury in hole. All right, money tree. Well, I guess now that I have apples, I might, uh, might as well plant those. So just do it like right here. Screw it. <laughs> Plant one. Yay, apple tree. I guess we'll do it. Oh, wait. I wonder, I need to pick up these weeds. Because hopefully this is a money rock. Which means if it is, I probably just wasted time, but no, oh, whatever, who cares. Nope, just rocks. Hooray. I got a stone. I got a boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. Oh, it's like, who, who is that hiding in the trees? Um, oh, hey, it's another rock, though. That'll be cool. And it's iron. All right. Thank you for your minerals. Oh, there's another boulder here. Oh, here's a money rock. I got bales out the wazoo. All right, I will... Yeah, I definitely could have gotten away with a money tree, I think. Oh well. Or maybe I wouldn't. It would have been 9,100 bells, but still, that's a lot more than a thousand. Oh well, the, ne the, the next day will give me another money tree, surely. Let's go put together Gulliver's little communicator. Why are there no little squirty things? Let me just talk to him again. Maybe that'll do something. I'm not sure how many different communicate communicator parts are out there. I could probably cram about five of them in here. Okay, thanks. Oh wait, I thought I heard something. There's a spot. You're a communicator part. Not just some manila clam. Aha. Yay. Whoop. Ah, it is just a clam. At least I can donate this. Fishing bait. I don't want to use it for a recipe. I don't want to dig another spot either. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, wait, there's a present here. But I don't have a slingshot! R and R. That's unfortunate. Ooh, fruit roots. Mr. and Mrs. Popular. You will be popular. Oh hey, another boulder. Stop! Oh, oh, I didn't mean to take that spot. Stop taunting me, present. You're just being annoying. Oh, a pill bug again. I just crushed him with a rock! Oh no! I'll have to replay that real quick. Oh my god, that was brutal. For, for a game like this. Oh, he's alive, okay. Good for him. He's a little trooper. A little survivor. Oh, there's a spot. Come on. Yeah! Another part. Oop, there's a spot. Don't mind me. Just gonna look for your... Oops. Get out of the way! It's a clam. God darn it. <laughs> yeah, just let it go. No, my shovel! Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Well, let me see. Maybe I could donate this clam first. Hi again. I got something. Make a donation. Oh. Alright. I guess that didn't count. For some reason, I thought those counted. Maybe that's a later game thing. I, maybe they just don't. Alright. Yeah. You're good for nothing. Release. Let's see. Maybe I'll leave the can outside. Because I can attract some, like, uh, some kind of bug with it, right? 
Maybe I'll do the same thing with apples. I want to get rid of this tree so I can see my mailbox. Maybe if I eat um, an, a pear. Eat one. No? Does it only work with a shovel that I already destroyed? Oh, no. <laughs> Inside, quick. All right, they dispersed. That's so much easier than just running away from them or trying to catch- I could have caught one with my net. What am I thinking? Oh, whatever. Okay, there we go. And there goes my axe. God darn it. Damn it, Bobby. Let me just make another axe then. <laughs> to get some more wood to make another flimsy shovel. Just like Minecraft all over again. Mm hmm I'll make a flimsy axe. Brilliant. Alright, and then, uh, well, I'm all done because I just need more hardwood, really. And I know a couple ways to get some. That sounds so gross, I'm sorry. What am I thinking? <laughs> what am I thinking? Maybe I'll put, um, a piece of pear, like, just, I don't know, maybe I'll shake this tree and leave one pear to rot. To attract some ants. All right, how many do I have? Oh, I have five. Let me make another shovel already. Let us craft flimsy shovel. All right, we got another one. I can't wait to the point that I can start buying them from the um, nook's cranny. That's gonna be so useful. I miss being privileged and pampered. <laughs> Back to the digging. Oh, I think I heard some squirtage. Little squirt, squirt, squirt. <sighs> Why am I sounding so inappropriate? I don't want a clam. No way. There we go. Oop. There is one. Oh, I overshot. Still overshot. There we go. I think I need one more. Oop. I heard two squirts. Yay, I got it. That's all five, right? Yeah, that is all five. All right, let us go. Oh, Mr. Gulliver. I have some things. There you are. Hey, did you find them? Got them right here. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communi communicated parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Oh, that's all you have to do to fix the phone? Anyway, all right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Oh my god, cracked screen. Is that a screen protector? I hope it is. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. Oh god. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Oliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all the help. All your help. <laughs> I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah, I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Alright, later. I get my prize for it. Too bad I can't convert these to bells. Gulliver's Travails. I have to do it 10 times for the next prize. Oh my god. Let's see. Can I make medicine already using the wasp? Or do I? No, do I have to do two uh, wasp nests? I don't remember. Can I craft anything? Do I need to craft anything? I don't think I do. Yeah, I just need to empty my, uh, my pockets a little bit. Maybe I can collect a bunch more sticks and stuff um, and weeds and then I'll just sell those. All right, let's get some cleanup done. You can let it go on a burn, babe. Just All right, that's already two stacks of weeds. Where is little, little... Hey, there you are. Bulletin board. Is it not you that I sell the weeds to or what? I guess he just gives me tips. I, I, uh, I feel like an idiot. Let me go talk to the other, the, the, the other twin. Because I, I didn't realize I was wrong this, this entire time. 
Because, again, I'm an idiot. Alright, hello. Let's take a look. This helps nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I don't know what to do anymore. Wait, he just... Oh. Um, I want to sell. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. I'm so weeds. Alright. So this was the guy to do it. Now I have 10,000 bells. Greedy weeder. Oop. There it is. Seller of unwanted stuff. Let me go double check to see if um, I have that butterfly already. I've definitely caught it before. I feel like I've already talked to Tom about it before uh, Flanders came to the island. Hi. Is this worth anything? <laughs> yeah, I can just get rid of it. Alright, bye. Alright. Butterfly. Fly away. Release. Oh. Alright. That works. Oh, I had... I ate fruit. That's why that happened. Picking up some more weeds. Yeah, I think I pretty much got every weed in this first section. I want to sell some weed. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll just sell these red pansy bags. I don't really care for them. Sold. Oop. There it is. Greedy weeder. Level 2. I have so many things in my inventory that I don't need. I'm just going to start throwing things outside my house. <laughs> Because I have no place to put them, really, except for the recycle bin. But you know what? Nothing's going to attract um, bugs that I might need, like these trash items. Uh, and that's, like, the only one I have. Um, I might sell a denim cap. Like, sell it, not put it in the recycle or whatever. Recycling bin. Hi again. I want to sell my soul. I mean, honestly, this is the one thing I want to get rid of, so... Yeah. Wow, a measly 192 bells. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Yes, I cut an anchovy. Ah. Ooh. I caught a loach. It's looking at me with reproach. Come on, big fella. No! What are you doing? <laughs> you fool. No! Stop turning away! <laughs> this is always the worst. Oh, I can't reach. Okay. Notice it. Taste it. Yes. Come on! Ooh. I got a black bass, the most metal of all fish. No! <laughs> Angling for perfection. Alright, I got 10 fish. Or I caught fish 10 times. Critopedia. Alright, so yeah, that's like two new fish. Alright, who's in this pond? Oh, come on, turn around. There's too many trees I can't see. That's too far. Yep. Oh, but now... Yeet! Aw. Oh. Come on, just notice it. Ooh. I got a carp. They're an invasive species. Specifically Asian carp. I believe. Ooh, tiny fish. No! Oh, I scared it off. I thought I was at a good angle. Okay. Low battery. Oh, shut up. I got a dab. Do the dab. I'm a savage. Okay. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Island ichthyologist. Pesca pro. And small fry. I would like a small fry. With a sh milkshake. Ah, there's a big one. Oop. That was a good. That was a good one. 
And it's a black veils. Let's go turn in a few, uh, ritters. Hi, blathers. I got a few things for ya. Make a donation. Um, yeah, I got this. Oh, shoot. I forgot I have to read each one of these. I mean, I could skip them, but where's the fun in that? There are more than 140 species of anchovy, but they do all have the same some things in common. They are all small and feed by simply swimming with their mouths open to filter food particles from the sea. In my sleepier moments, I sometimes wish I could do that. Honestly, same. Me too. How about a loach? Loaches are a large group of bottom-feeding freshwater fish. Because there are so many species, it's difficult to generalize, generalize about them all. But one thing they all have in common is perhaps their most unappealing trait, the name loach. Repellent, isn't it? <laughs> that's that's a really cool emote. They should have just called it the cockloach and been, and been done with it. Ugh, what? I don't know what that's supposed to... I don't know what that means. Loach, loach. It just tastes terrible in the beak. All right, that was kind of boring. <laughs> well, not boring, it was just like, there was a whole lot of nothing to it. All right, black bass. The black bass is a formidably strong fish and as such is a common target for sport anglers. In some areas, there are even those who professionally catch just black bass. Yet, in other areas, they are considered not native. They are considered an ecological nuisance. Invasive, even. One cannot help but wonder who is to blame for their invasion. Who? Hooty who? This must be a carp. Yes. Please tell me. Please tell me. Oh, the carp. Have you ever seen their teeth? For your sake, I hope you have not. Carp have teeth in their throats strong enough to crunch on hard things like shells and fingers. A good rule of thumb w when keep... <laughs> rule of thumb because it's talking about fingers uh, when dealing with other species is to keep your fingers out of their mouths although having neither thumbs nor fingers I am quite safe from this little fellow this is a dab a popular dance craze from the 2010s wonderful I would love nothing more the dab is a flatfish that bears some resemblance to the olive flounder though their mouths are different personally I am morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye, eye placement the dab's eyes are both on its right side, while the olive flounders are on the left. These fish spend lots of time lying on their sides in the sand, so the odd eye placement makes some sense. But it's how can I put it? Uh, how can I put it? Creepy, viscerally disturbing, profoundly upsetting to fans of symmetry. And there you have it. Okay, <laughs> cool, uh, cool, I guess. We need just two more. To do All right, I could work with two. Yeah, I think I'll do two more donations, um, and then honestly wrap up the episode from there. Because I only have so much time to work with, and there's only so much I can do, um, as of today from what it looks like. So, yeah, let's go find some more critters. Please see my bobber. That sounds kind of gross. Um, alright. Go this way. Shoot. Oh, he turned. Alright. What is it? Oh, it's a tadpole. Little, little fella. He never grew up to become a frog that day. It's kind of morbid, actually. That's really sad. Are you going to do something? Okay, there we go. Oh, that was quick. Ooh. I got a horse map. Well, that was very fast, actually. All right, so I got all the donations I need. And the first two possible catches... Um, that I could have caught happened to be something uh, that I needed. Uh, make a donation. Supposedly, the horse mackerel derives its name from a false myth about its strength as a swimmer. The gist of it is that these fish are so powerful underwater that smaller fish can ride them as steeds. It's absurd, of course. Where would these alleged fish jockeys attach a saddle, much less horseshoes? One does wish that people would construct their legends with a bit more scientific plausibility. Undoubtedly, you know that tadpoles eventually turn into frogs. I must say, I find them impossibly adorable with their squiggly little tails. But even cuter, when they sprout legs. Why, we can witness accelerated evolution in these squirmy little ones. Whew, it makes me so emotional. Alright. Oh, there you go, that's cool. Hmm, I do believe this means... Yes, huzzah! Hooray! 
We have acquired the number of specimens required. At, at last, we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh, oh my. I must make haste and prepare for the museum opening. There's so much to do, hoodie hoo. Thank you so very much, Peotic. Alright, we did it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can do at the moment. Because the main focus is the museum. Alright, I got all those donations and stuff, so... I think we're just gonna call it there then. I'm gonna hang out with uh, Boone for this little uh, outro part. Oh no, he's wandering. Boone? Boone, what are you, what are you doing? Do my outro with me. <laughs> Boone! Boone! It's fine, I don't need him. Anyway, if you liked everything you saw in this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And to hit that little notification bell to stay up to date on future content just like this. My name's Peotic, signing off. Bye!